Today we're going to be looking at the parabolic indicator, or the SAR, which stands for Stop and Reverse. This popular indicator was developed in the early 70s by Wells Wilder. He also published it in his book, New Concepts in Technical Trading Systems, in 1978. So it really has stood the test of time. It's a trend-following indicator, which means you have to have trends in the market, which is about 30% of the time for a lot of securities. It's also very popular for placing stops and protecting profits and capital. I'm going to show you how to do that in today's video. So let's get looking at the charts and at the SAR indicator. What we're looking at on the screen is a simple candlestick chart, a daily candlestick chart of a major stock. Now this could be any stock. The first thing we have to do is to put on the chart our SAR. And as, notice I said on the chart because this is an overlay on price action. So you go onto the on chart studies, click once. There you see parabolic stop and reverse, PSAR. Click once there. And here it's already set to the defaults. So you can change it around, of course, but it's just easier to go with the defaults to begin with. So re defaulting to 0, 2, and 2, and then just click off. Now, as you can see with this price chart, you see the prices are above and the SAR is below. When prices break below the SAR, it said that the trend is down according to this indicator. Now, as you can see, it pretty much went flat. Prices came back up, went through the SAR, which is the little dotted line here, and prices began to rise. And again, below the SAR, prices fell. Above the SAR, prices rose pretty heavily. And it looks like we're going to get very close to changing that direction again. So it's a really good time for you to use this as a stop, a money management stop. And if you click, if you move the stop there, you can see just above, it shows you the PSAR 90.44. That's the area that you'd put your stop at. So you put a stop in to sell out of your position at 90.44 should the market get there. And of course, it did the trend lower. Conversely, on the upside, when you get to this point, you can see the PSAR is 90.99. The next day, it touched that point and the upward trend began in earnest. So that's how you use the PSAR. The chart we're looking at on the screen is a monthly candlestick long-term chart. The SAR, the parabolic SAR, is a great example of how you can spot long-term trends using this indicator on long-term charts. And trends tend to persist in most markets for quite a while. So let's see how the SAR does on this chart. First of all, we have to put it on the chart itself. So go up to On Chart Studies, click once, go down to Parabolic Stop and Reverse PSAR, which can leave it at the default settings. 0.02 and 0.2. You can also read about the indicator right here. So there we have it, already defaulted settings, and you can see we had a massive move up here and then an equally big move on the downside. The important thing is this is not a daily chart, it's a monthly chart, and you can use the PSAR on dailies, weeklies, and monthlies, and even intraday charts. It's a very powerful tool and it helps you stay in the money. You can use it as money management stops or just a trend following technique. You can see the trend here started on February 1st, 2009 and didn't reverse until December 1st, 2011. So that's how you use the PSAR indicator. Every success using it for money management and in your own trading.